Hey, it's Chris Morrow. Today I want to talk about one of the most overlooked parts of the recruitment process, which is the interview preparation. How you prepare for your interview could mean the difference between success and failure ultimately, so it's really, really important to absolutely nail it and get it right. If you don't, um, you know, things could go wrong very, very quickly in the interview and um, trust me, it's better off to do um, as much interview preparation as possible so that you don't have any regrets later on. Now there's four things that I always cover off with my candidates and something that I'd like to share with you. It doesn't matter if you're going to be, you know, if you're in IT or if you're in the HR um, industry or if you're a, an accountant or you're in the law profession or, or PR. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And um, these four points um, are, are, you know, they work in any industry and they make sure that you'll absolutely nail uh, the preparation for any interview. My cousin actually called me up the other day. He was asking for some advice on an interview that he had, and he works in the um, in, in the oil and gas industry. Something I know absolutely nothing about, but I don't have to. I know how to prepare well for an interview. So I gave him I gave him the following advice, uh, which which worked really well for him. The first one is to know everything you possibly can about the company that you're interviewing for. Now that sounds really, really basic, but you'll be surprised at how many people don't do that. And then they go into the interview, the first in, uh, interview question is, what do you know about us and why are you interested in the position? Uh, I don't know because I haven't done my inter interview prep. Now, best place to do the interview prep on the company is obviously the website. Read as much as you can about uh, what the company stands for, who, who they are, what they're all about, the location, um, you know, the type of work that they do, any news that you've seen, um, on them, make sure you read up on that as well. Just make sure you've got something under, you know, under your belt for, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the question when I ask, they, they ask you, what do you know about us and why are you, why are you interested? So that's the first point. Know as much as you can about the company you're interviewing for. Number two is know as much as you possibly can about the job that you're interviewing for. Um, so you've already prepared for the company, now you need to read into as much as you can about the actual job. Best place to do that is obviously getting a hold of the job description. Now you can either get that from your uh, recruitment agent if they're representing you or directly from the employer. Make sure that the job that you have in your head is the job that you're interviewing for. I quite often see candidates who turn up to talk about a job that they have in their head and the interviewers have something else in their mind. So make sure that you understand what it is that you're interviewing for, the job description. Go through all of the essential skills as much as possible and make sure you make some notes on sort of, you know, the five or six key essential skills and um, what they're all about. Now, the third point is probably the most important point and something uh, that so many candidates that I've seen in my career have messed up on interviewing. They could be fantastic candidates, some great skills and experience, but if they don't do this, they will not get the job. That third point is to draw some synergy between what they're looking for from an employer's perspective and what you have from a skills and experience perspective. This is, this is all around really, really selling yourself as much as possible against those uh, essential skills which you've read up on in the previous point. So make sure you, you write them down, make sure you've got them clear in your head, why do you deserve this job, sell yourself against the, those skills and experience and those essential skills and you, you, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll find that your chances automatically, dramatically improve. Now the, the last point and something that's really, really important as well is to go in there armed with some really good questions. Yeah, if you if you don't have good questions, so many times I've seen candidates at the end of an interview, do you have any questions for us? And they say, no, you've answered everything, thanks very much. Now that just comes across that you're disinterested. You've not really read into the job. Um, you know, you haven't really bought into the idea about the, uh, the organization and um, you know you don't have anything to add. So make sure that you leave a, a really good impression with the interviewers and um, you know, remain in the forefront of their thoughts with some really intelligent questions about the role and also make sure that you have all of your questions answered. This is as much about you finding out if this is the right role in the company for you as it is about them finding out if you're the right person for them. So make sure you don't have any regrets afterwards. Oh, you know, I should have should have asked that question. Make sure you're prepared as much as possible going into that and, um, and you should be fine. So prepare as much as you can and know as much as you can about the company you're interviewing for. Also, point number two, prepare as much as you can about the role that you're interviewing for. Point number three, draw some synergy between the skills and experience you have and what they're looking for um, from, from an employer's perspective. And number four, go in there, armed with some bloody good questions and you won't go far wrong. If you're watching this anywhere else, 
But my website, chrismorrow.careers, head on over there. That's where all the hints and tips are. Uh, I write regular articles and post videos on um, uh, tips on how to improve your chances in the job market if you're a candidate. Um, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You should see a subscribe now button in, in the, the, the top corner um, here. So click on that, subscribe to the U YouTube channel, leave a like, leave a dislike, um, leave a comment, and um, I'll hope to catch up with you all soon.